don't miss out guys and all this love 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 from god like i told you guys the other day on sunday i'm having like a bad day i'm just down 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 and i keep questioning god god why do i have these bad days and i kept asking him and asking him and asking him and then a friend called me yesterday and she said nick god just put it on my spirit to tell you that those bad days when you're down those are the days he's refueling you you guys get that like a plane flying has to come down sometimes and get refueled uh, she said that's what god is doing to me he's refueling me and bringing me closer to him guys like no lie like on sunday was a bad day but i kept running to god i kept running to god i kept running to god and you know the way he showed up was my husband telling me that i must have faith in god and that i must stop doubting god and then minutes later i'm talking to the same new friend i have and she says to me to read mark chapter i think it was 11 verse 22 and it was god, it was jesus saying have faith in god that we must not have this doubting heart and how 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 because my husband tell me that that i'm doubting god and then minutes later Miss Laverne just tell me out of the blue go to mark such and such and it's about having this faith in god guys and that was just god another god wing from him you understand guys when things line up a little bit too perfectly that nobody can tell me that some coincidence my husband's having made a speech about having faith in god and just out of the blue miss laverne tells me to go to that specific verse in the bible to say have faith in god and stop to stop doubting him you know and that's exactly where i go wrong i doubt my god even though he's been with me <laughs> through everything i've been going through but yet i still doubt him you know and i'm just human guys and so this is where our appointments with god come in guys that we have to learn god's voice and he told me to call his lover <laughs> you know and it's just a matter of us taking the time to say god i want a closer walk with you and getting to know him and to learn his voice my appointments with him reading my meditation books going to our family's website listening to my brother carrie it's just me saying god i want a closer walk with you god i want to be i want to learn more about you i want to be closer tighter like this with you god and I want the whole entire world here with me, walking with God every moment, every second, okay? Enjoying Him, loving Him, knowing that we're not going through life alone. As we show up and give our utmost best in whatever He has called us to do, that He's there with us, standing by our side, working things out in the spiritual realm on our behalf, guys. We're not alone. We have God, okay? The message from Carrie today is take God into the battle with you. And for me, that means a constant, constant listening to him. Okay, God, we're here. What do we do? Uh, the conversation with the hubba was about a car that I wanted to buy. But I said, honey, I just felt like that wasn't a good one. He said, Nikki, follow your heart. And that's God, guys. He's always talking to us. You know, and the hubby said, follow my heart. I'm following God. God's voice, the doubt that says, no, there's a problem here. Don't buy this car. So all day, every day, I want us like this with Papa God, walking with him, listening to him, following our heart, our gut, our intuition. God, what are you saying to me here? Okay, guys, and just knowing that we're not handling our battles alone. We have God with us, okay? So don't miss that on this life with him. Tell him today is your day, God. I want to walk even closer and closer and closer with you.